This is the Weber Brake poster presentation for Senior Design 2 by Taylor Chandler, Grant, Dale, Mallory Hall, and Hong Lau. Project overview and original design limitations. Our project was to design and build a new brake to replace the current friction stopped brake system used by Weber. We needed to eliminate uh, parts entering the spindle at a high velocity. The original design was overly complex with a poor material selection and was, had a high failure rate due to the number of parts that was in the, the design, the mechanical components, and the high speed of the fasteners as they were entering the brake. Specifications, it had to be non-magnetic, able to withstand thousands of cycles, assimilate into a metric assembly, modular, feed parts of different materials and sizes, be able to slow or stop the part with a tube length of 10 meters, and the velocity of the part must be equal to being gravity dropped at one meter above the head. We used a pneumatic design for the fastener slowed by a counterblast of air controlled by proximity sensors and a solenoid valve. The solenoid is operated remotely and autonomously. The pressure is controlled by a perforated tube acting as exhaust. The decibel level from the air compressors and the air flowing through the solenoid is controlled by sound damping neoprene that encases the perforated tubing. Wiring and electrical information. There were a total of three proximity sensors to detect the fasteners entering the brake. There were two sensors between the brake and the driver system. The velocity values of the parts for fasteners dictate the valve opening time and the amount of air pressure that was applied. We used a voltage divider circuit and resistors to achieve the output current required by the sensors, which is 200 milliamps. The valve operates on a 12 volt power supply, so we needed to increase the power supplied by the Arduino to increase the power. The system flow diagram. The process of the fasteners coming are passed through a step feeder. They are fed into an escapement and then shot through flexible tubing to the new redesigned braking system. Implementation and testing. We passed several different fasteners through the system, all with the same overall head diameter of 14 millimeters, but the variety of different size, materials, and weight, we showed very minimal change in the velocity values calculated. Traveling at the approx approximated distance shown between the two sensors. This shows that every, every fastener that was passed through, the solenoid was engaged and was able to slow the part down before hitting the test bucket bottom.